you're watching this video, you're probably struggling with getting audio out of Ableton Live. Hopefully this video will get you on the right track to get an audio back out of Ableton Live. So let's jump in and see if we can fix your problem. So if you're having trouble getting sound out of Ableton Live, here's a few things you can check. First, make sure your audio interface is connected properly and turned on. So usually it's connected via a USB lead. So check that it's connected on the back and it's connected to your computer. It may seem like a really simple thing, but the amount of times I've gone, why haven't I got audio out of Ableton though? I just haven't plugged in my audio interface. That said, make sure you've got your headphones plugged into your audio interface, or if you're just using your Mac or your Windows PC, don't forget to plug your headphones in as well. Now we need to check the audio settings in Ableton Live to ensure that the correct audio interface is selected as the input and output device. So how we get to the settings in Ableton Live on a Mac, the shortcut is Command, Comma, and on Windows is Control, Comma. You can also find it up if you go to Ableton Live on a Mac, go Settings, or on Windows, if you go to Options, your settings will be in there. Sometimes it's called Preferences as well. Most importantly for this video, you have the correct output device. So if you've plugged in your audio interface, and you have no device selected, you might not be able to hear it. If you want to hear it for your MacBook speakers, choose MacBook speakers. If you want to hear it for your audio interface, make sure you select your audio interface. Now, remember when you plug in your audio interface, that takes over the audio coming in and out of your computer. So that's where you'll have to plug your headphones into. Okay, so if you have your audio interface selected here and you plug your headphones into your computer, you're not gonna be able to hear it. So just remember wherever you plug your headphones in, you need to choose that as your output device. Now, if you're using Windows, make sure you switch over to the ASIO device. Now, sometimes that has some internal routing options as well. So you find the ASIO device up here where it says Core Audio on a Mac. So open that up and see how you get on. So next thing we need to do is check that our volume is up. It sounds really simple, but at times, again, it's these little things we just need to check. Sometimes it might be something as simple as that. I really do hope it is. So remember on your audio interface, you have a separate dial for the speakers you plug, you plug into it and the headphones. So make sure you're turning up the headphone dial. Okay. Also, if you're plugged into your laptop or your, com or your computer or Windows or PC, make sure you've turned the volume up on there. Last thing is just make sure that your audio track that you want to come out of Ableton Live is selected, nothing's muted. Also check your master channel and make sure the volume is up and everything is heard. So test the audio in Ableton Live. So by pressing spacebar, you'll be able to hear if there's audio coming out of it. If there's still no audio coming out of Ableton Live, open up YouTube or Spotify and make sure that you can hear that. If you can't hear that as well, it's a problem with your computer sending audio out in general. If it's, if it's just not coming out of Ableton, that means you need to further investigate the connection between your audio interface and your laptop. If you're still having problems, try updating your drivers and software, try updating Ableton and try updating the software for your audio interface as well. If these steps do not solve your problem, it may be an issue with your audio interface or your computer, and you may need to contact the, either the manufacturer of your interface or Ableton Live's help and support. So I hope that helped. So just remember, check things are plugged in, such as your audio interface, and your headphones to your audio interface or your headphones to your headphone port on your computer, you have the correct IO, which is the ins and outs set up in Ableton Live's preferences and that all volumes are turned up and tracks are unmuted. Sometimes when we start out in new programs like this, it, we can get lost and confused quite quickly. So hopefully that solved it for you and you can get back on track with your music making. If you did find this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me build this channel and I'll hopefully see you again here soon.